welcome to today's NCCR workshop news. You might already hear the first news that we have. We have mics now, really nice ones, so you can actually hear us clearly and nicely. So yeah. we have heard you guys, <laughs> and uh, now you hear us. Ha ha ha! There was a lot. <laughs> there was a, a lot of comments on YouTube on our channel. Sign to the channel if yes. you haven't, because a lot of news coming up in mm -hmm. the next week. And the second big news you see in front of us, beside us, behind us. We are launching our NCCR engine rebuild program. And what is that? We, we decided, uh, those of you who follow us uh, for a bit longer time, you know that we have our point of view regarding uh, the engine problems. Um, we think that the motor cannot run um, with an open deck cylinder, no engine with this liter. Um, uh, power is uh, working with, uh, with an open deck. Um, if you're not familiar with the uh, open and closed deck thing, uh, watch our other videos, I will uh, link it down. Um, so, open deck, closed deck discussion and second is uh, our chassis stabilizer kit mm -hmm. because we think the engine uh, is twisting in the chassis what puts stress on the front cylinder. Um, out of all that and all of all our experiences, we decided now to offer an engine rebuild program. So basically what you get to do is you can send us your engine and we look it through and make it all pretty and um, update it also to the hardware that we think is the best. Yeah, the, the, the thing started a bit earlier. Julia constructed this, uh, this engine stand. Um, what we call our workshop and transport stand. Uh, we launched it, I think, a week ago or two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. um, and um, but not only that, um, Julia. Now, all, yeah, when you have a look uh, here, um, you see what possibilities we have. Um, you can uh, ratchet it down. Um, you can put these legs on that you can change the oil. Uh, or put in the uh, crank lock tool. Um, but then out of that came from Julia the next step and uh, that was the box. Yes, so now there's also a transport box and there's uh, two ways, or actually three ways, that you can get one. You can either get the file from me so you can build it yourself, so you get a part list with all the different parts and the uh, hardware that you will need, or you can get it sent to you by us as a flat pack so you only have to put it together or you can also get the whole box assembled as it is sent to you yeah and uh, there comes uh, i think in 14 days uh, there we will come out with uh, another uh, workshop tutorial video how to take out the engine out of your ebr 1190 mm -hmm. and um, how to use the uh, the engine stand and uh, there we will also talk more about it. Uh, but we will have it all, the whole program already in the web shop mm -hmm. with prices. Yes. And um, so, of course, you are curious what what all will be will be in. And um, we we think that the most of the engines here you see how these engines usually uh, coming in. These are normally RX uh, SX engines. This is an RS engine what uh, lately came in and um, usually the most of these engines are not really old uh, no. they have a fairly low mileage so we say as long as they are not beyond 20,000 miles or 30,000 kilometers we rebuild the top end mm -hmm. and we rebuild all the gremlin points so talking about all the nuts yeah so we uh, uh, the program starts uh, we will we, uh, uh, we take off the top ends, we will um, measure it all and um, we uh, will replace the clutch package, we will replace uh, all the nuts, we will double check all the timing things also on the, on the balancer shafts, uh, we will replace the water pump seal, we will re replace uh, the valve seal. Um, usually, uh, the, the titanium valves you cannot uh, uh, grind in, so uh, there you would need to replace them, but we will vacuum test uh, the heads, of course. Mm -hmm. um, 
uh, new uh, new gaskets all around, new oil seals um, all around, and um, we will um, in the package have the checking, cleaning, and balancing of all the four injectors. Yes. And um, also valve clearance, of course. Yeah, valve clearance, of course. But that yeah. go goes on set. Yeah. Spark plug. Um, but you will get a nice list also, yeah. so you see everything. Piston rings, piston rings, of course, uh, uh, we make new. And we will uh, convert the cylinders from uh, open to closed deck. Yes. And um, that will be a package what will be uh, at $3,750. Yeah. All inclusive. And um, I think, um, that, yeah, and of course there will be some options. Yes. Hot it up. Uh, so, <laughs> of course, the Oberon clutch cylinder, the CP, CNC pistons, who are really super expensive these days, Carrillo <laughs> rods, of course, um, and uh, we will also um, uh, offer the um, conversion to ARP bolts. Uh, if you look in our video, you uh, see um, regarding the engine problems, uh, we have it um, explained the, dif uh, the difference between having uh, head screws or head bolts like it was used on the RS mm -hmm. um, that were ARP uh, bolts and um, yeah all assembly blueprinting uh, everything and um, fuel pump um, we will also offer in the package a test run so if you send your fuel pump with it we will uh, Put it on our test uh, uh, bass, check out uh, the volume, check out the pressure and we will replace the fuel sensor because uh, we have a solution now. Mm -hmm. It's a German industrial sensor. Um, what uh, uh, will, I think it will do the trick. It's, it looks like we mm -hmm. have a very good fix um, for that. Yes. And then $3,750, that's a lot of money why you should do that and what you get from that beside a, a, a nice engine, an updated engine and you can be sure that there will be no more nuts opening and mm. uh, you have a new clutch and new rings and so on, you will get a warranty. Warranty. Yeah. yeah. Um, we decided that we will give on the engine uh, 10,000 mile warranty mm -hmm. for the first year. But, but that comes with a but. Um, if you go to the service mm -hmm. at us yes. or in the US to Chess, yes. Argard, AMF, then we will give it another second year. But only if the uh, bike is equipped also with a chassis stabilizer kit. Yes, because we are, we are truly believing that if you have the chassis stabilizer kit that there should be no problem whatsoever, so we are comfortable with giving this warranty. Yeah, so one or two years um, of uh, warranty. Um, we, think, we think this is a fair package uh, what we offer. Um, it is from now on possible to book um, in uh, the web shop. Mm -hmm. Transport comes extra. Yes. Yeah. So, um, how much was the box? Uh, you mean the measurements? Yeah. It's roughly 700 and, oh, it's 800 high. It's, uh, oh, millimeters. Uh, so, it's 80 centimeters by 50 fix I think by 65 or something like that. Yeah, and it's uh, 36 kilo, the yes. motor is uh, 76 kilo, so with some, uh, uh, with a mandatory box of, a uh, uh, bottle of whiskey, what we expect, <laughs> uh, no, that was a no. joke, um, I think 115 kilo. So, mm. but also these measurements uh, will be, will be uh, written in the web shop, so yes. you can check and we also, our colleague pair here, can find uh, the best way uh, to to ship it. Usually, to America these days, I would expect air air freight uh, like five hundred per way, something something like but that. But that's because the prices are crazy right now. Totally crazy. Since All Corona, it's just like. Whew. Yeah, yeah. So, um, 
stay tuned what else we have we will have this uh, um, tutorial yes. how to take the engine out we also find out something more uh, we are soon going to talk she, about that she found it out <laughs> i did because i was drawing up stuff and he gave me measurements we're, and we're, we're, i was double checking them and i was like this is not right we're this only is building weird. a new swing arm and uh, and then um, yeah we run into the explanation what we think yeah. Why some bikes eating up chain sliders? But you will know that in our next or the video after that. Yeah, exactly. Yes. And there will be also coming up a new um, uh, pr product video. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of uh, parts now coming in finally, mm -hmm. like the uh, XP uh, lamp conversion for the SX bike yes. coming in. So and uh, yeah, we had the three D printed parts for it, but now we have the all the both the glass fiber parts and the um steel parts, steel parts coming yeah, in now yeah, yeah. and yeah. also the um the uh, uh under tray is yes. uh, uh, out of stock at the factory that we made now mm -hmm. uh, that we have ready in fiberglass as one piece that uh, gives it a much cleaner look and uh, other yeah. things you will find out soon enough yeah all right so so i guess have a nice day, everyone. Stay safe and we'll yeah. see you later. Thanks for watching. Bye. Take care. Bye.